Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created one of these super fun and easy fabric carrots that I'm using here on the mantle in the dining room at my farmhouse. Um, I absolutely am in love with them. I'm totally obsessed with them. I think they're just so much fun um, and you can do them in such a wide variety. I think every year I'll be making these. So if you are interested in seeing a tour of the rest of this dining room here at the farmhouse, I will make sure that I link that video in an iCard right here as well as down in the description box. But for right now, let's go ahead and let's get on to the DIY. This is what you are going to need in order to complete a super cute fabric carrot. The first thing that you're gonna need is a fabric. <laughs> and um, it really depends on how many carrots that you wanna make. I mean, seriously, the sky is the limit with this. Um, it really doesn't require a whole lot of fabric. Even when making the really, the pretty big carrots that I made, it really doesn't take up that much fabric. So if you just have some like scrap fabric, you don't know what to do with it, make a carrot out of it, especially if it's obviously in the color scheme that you need it to work with. Um, so you're gonna obviously need some scissors. And um, I am choosing to sew my carrots, but you are definitely, could totally make a carrot without having to sew it. Um, I don't know if you would wanna use hot glue. Um, I think I may look into maybe some type of fabric glue. So, um, I obviously am going to be using a sewing machine and then you are going to need some raffia or at least this is personal preference though. You're gonna need some greenery for the tops and you're going to need some raffia and then I also use some twine as well in order to tie my carrot at the top. Then I tie the raffia around. So let's go ahead and let's get started making one of these. I'm not a sewer, you guys. This is not like a sewing tutorial for sure. This is just how I am making these carrots. So if you're looking for a sewing sewing tutorial, please look elsewhere. <laughs> um, I'm very, very basic in my sewing skills. Unfortunately, I don't have the very first step that you need to take. I don't. I cut all of my material already, um, and so I don't have that to show you. But it's pretty, pretty basic, pretty obvious, right? What you need to do is you just need to cut out some form of more like a, it is a triangle, but kind of like almost like a pennant, if you will. Um, and you can see how big mine is. I'm going to tell you it's, this one probably is, I'm going to say a good 24 inches long. Um, and I have per carat, you're going to need two pieces of fabric. You just cut out one triangle and then you can use that as a template to cut out your other triangle. So I have this one and then right behind it, I have a second one. So what we're going to do first is I am going to align these. If you're sewing it, well, if you're, if you're gluing it and you're gonna try and turn it inside out to make like a nicer seam, then you're going to want to put your two right sides, which that's the sides that you want to be seen. That's the sides like with the color or the print. Um, or whatever, put your two right sides together. Okay, so as you can see, the back sides are, are both, on both sides, it's the back sides. And then we're going to begin by just sewing a simple straight seam down both sides of our triangle. We are not obviously going to do the top because we are going to turn it inside out then and then we're gonna begin stuffing it. So like I said, this is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and film me doing this, but don't judge y'all. Like I said, I am not a seamstress. <laughs> so, hey guys, so I'm just going to start on one side. Now, I do not put pins or anything like that in my, um, on my fabric. Some people will do that as seamstresses and then they pull them out as they go. I, like I said, this is not supposed to be perfect. I'm just going to just eyeball as straight of a seam as I possibly can. So honestly, even if you're not a seamstress, but you have a sewing machine, I really highly recommend you going ahead and getting it out and sewing these. You're gonna find that you can make a lot more of them a lot more quickly sewing them. And it just gives it, like I said, like a nice clean edge. So um, I don't care either about, I, I actually am using like a sagey green um, thread 
And then my bobbin is like a light pink. <laughs> I'm not gonna overly worry about it. I ran out of white, so it's okay though. You're not really gonna see it. So let's begin, and I don't do anything fancy. Like I said, it's just a very simple, straight seam. Do you want to make sure, um, if you can see that on there, I'm not right at the edge. I'm giving myself some grace because my triangles were cut out probably a little bit imperfectly. Um, and so I'm making sure that I give myself some, some leeway. So I don't do it. I, I do, I have it coming off probably a good, um, at least a half inch away from the edge. Make sure that you're bringing it obviously into your point. And I just run the seam straight off of the material. Okay, and then pull it out. And then cut it. And then I've got a nice straight, I know you're not gonna be able to see that, but if you can, I've got a nice straight seam down one side and all I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm going to work the second side. There we go, so I've got both of my sides. Like I said, I'm sure you can't necessarily see that, but if you can, you can see I've got both sides sewn with just a straight seam all the way down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just simply turn my carrot inside out. And I will tell you that at the very tip, um, I will probably end up having to use either like a dowel rod. I, in my case, I just use my scissors because uh, that tip is so skinny, it's hard to get that material completely um, down, if you will. And I don't want, I want a nice little tip on my carrot. So I'm gonna use my scissors and just kind of put it, push it in there and just push that fabric out as best, as best I can. So there we have it. So now I'm sure you can see the carrot taking place. Of course, it kind of just looks like a pennant now. <laughs> but once we stuff it, that's when the real fun starts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab my stuffing and we'll start stuffing. I will tell you that one of my tips though for starting to fluff your carrot is to get just a small amount and stuff the very tip first. Um, that way you can use your dowel rod or your scissors like I do and kind of poke the fluff down into the tip because your finger's not gonna fit in there. <laughs> And you wanna make sure that your tip is fluffed up because how stupid would that look if you have a carrot and everything is nice and fluffy and filled and then you got this like <laughs> ugly look. <laughs> See, you're making it sound really, really bad. Then you got this ugly looking limp <laughs> carrot tip. My daughter is in the background if you hear her laughing at me. And we just find this to be very funny, but this is probably gonna make it into the bloopers. That's all I got to say. Anyway, anyway, so you wanna make sure that you fluff, make sure you have enough fluffing in the very tip of your carrot because you definitely want to make sure that's fluffed. Anyway, so. <laughs> So when you are fluffing the tip of your carrot too, you can kind of use, like I said, your dowel rod or your scissors. I use mine and I just kind of poke it through basically, make sure that it's kind of, you know, tight in there and just fluffed in there very well. So now I'm gonna just work on fluffing the rest of my carrot. There's no rhyme or reason. You can make it as firm or as soft as you want. It's personal preference. So I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you, I got my carrot all nice and fluffed up. You can see I've got it pretty firm. Um, like I said, this is just personal preference. If you want it a little softer, that's fine and dandy. It's up to you. So I wanted to make sure too that you understand, don't, don't stuff it to the very top. I've left probably a good three inches from the end of where I, where I stopped the stuffing to the end of my fabric. And this just gives you some room for what we're gonna do next. So um, what I do for all of my carrots, the first thing is, 
you have to um you want some kind of greenery now so basically i just kind of shove it down in there no it's so so easy and that fluff that i just purchased from walmart that polyfill is really nice and um it's not real like packed tightly if you know what i mean like the fibers of it aren't so it's very very easy to just poke a floral pick into that and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to gather my material just like this and don't worry if you don't like how much material you have hanging over you can always take your scissors and cut around no big deal so what i do okay so what i like to do is i have some of this like jute twine and this is what i do i just use it and now this is going to be a little bit difficult because i'm actually standing up so i may have to do this off camera in a second but um i actually hold it with my knees and then i tie the jute string around it to hold my greenery and pinch or pull in all of my fabric like i said there's no way i'm going to be able to do this as I'm standing up guys so um, I'll be back with you in just a second once I get that done so you can see I've got that tied um, I do do a double knot on that I just have some raffia here you can buy this pretty much everywhere I think Dollar Tree may sell it sometimes although I got mine at Walmart all I'm gonna do now is just tie this raffia right around my little base here where my jute string is and I will be back with you in just a second Okay, so I, did, I tied my raffia in a bow, um, and then I like to just kind of play with it and kind of puff it out a little bit more. This is up to you. You could just tie it in a knot. Some of the carrots, I think I did just kind of tie it in a knot or a double knot, um, but I think that I favor the bow better, at least I do. And then, then you just kind of step back and look at it. My raffia is extremely long, so I'm definitely gonna trim this up some for sure, and then I'm gonna play with my bow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend some of my greenery out and maybe down a little bit, kind of like what you would see on an actual carrot, just kind of pretty much just like that. I, anyway, so that's pretty much it. This is an extremely, I'd say extremely easy craft and it's just like I said, I'm obsessed now with these, like the possibilities are endless. I could just totally see myself now like every single year making more and more carrots for whatever color theme that I go with. It's just so easy. Um, like I said, I prefer sewing it. I think that it just gives it a cleaner edge. I personally think that you could get a lot more of them done a lot quicker. Um, and because it's such an easy sew, it's nothing complicated. It's just pretty much straight stitches all the way down. Such a great excuse to break out those sewing machine people, those sewing machines. Come on, y'all can do it. If Believe me, like I said, if I can do it, you guys can do it too. So how cute is this? Now, I cannot wait to show you how I use these carrots in my dining room. Oh my goodness. I have them placed around my mantle and I seriously think this year may be my favorite Easter mantle ever, if not favorite mantle that I've done here at this farmhouse. So uh, stay tuned so you can see all of my all of my DIY fabric carrots in all their glory. Thanks so much guys for watching this DIY with me today. I hope that you found some inspiration to create your own fun, easy carrots. Um, you can make them as big or as little as that you need and they are just like I said so much fun. You're probably going to be like me and just become completely obsessed with them. <laughs> I made way more than I had originally intended to make but I'm super glad that I did just because I absolutely love the way that the mantle looks this year. It's just super super fun. Anyway guys thanks so much for watching. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section if you have decided to make your own this year I would love to hear from you guys and also if you haven't already done so I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family by joining and hitting that subscribe button and making sure you hit that bell to be notified of when I place a new video up all right guys bye